602, a major development for students and parents in our Vaccine Central coverage. Fort Bend ISD is changing quarantine protocols now that more people are getting vaccinated. And the district also has a new plan to get more students vaccinated. KPRC2's Brandon Walker live in Richmond with how that plan works. Brandon, good morning. And good morning to you, Lisa Owen. Good morning to you. This plan in line with CDC recommendations. So we'll start with the big change that they would like to put in place. Fort Bend ISD saying that they are working with the county's health department to figure out a way to offer vaccinations to students 16 and older, those students who want it. Parents we spoke to weighed in. I think it's pretty well. I think it's like a pretty good idea. Like, like if I want the kid get the parent consent. Most of the population is familiar with the schools. So, so finding out the school is much easier than going to anywhere else. That shot in the arm would be easier, said Fort Bend ISD parent George Abraham. The district is looking into how to offer vaccinations to students 16 and older, those who want it. Other changes involve those who are fully vaccinated. Fully vaccinated students and staff exposed to the virus will not be required to quarantine. Also, those fully vaccinated returning from international travel no longer will be required to submit a negative COVID-19 test. Parents with whom we spoke say this is a leap forward toward normalcy, but choice is key. If it's people, if people don't want to take it, they shouldn't take it. If they don't want to, it should be your choice. Yeah, that's a key point there, discretionary, right? And so the district says that that is their plan, at least as they begin to figure out how the plan to offer vaccinations will work. Things are still in their early stages. And again, this is in line with CDC recommendations, which are more lax now that the science has improved and more vaccinations are made available. We're live out front Travis High School in Richmond. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC 2 News.